Well, I want to show you something about that staircase that I've been making a few videos about. Uh, we've got it mocked up here in the shop. This is the same height situation as where it's going to ultimately go. Uh, as I showed you before, we've got some two-inch pipes that form the structure of the stairs. We've got our water jet cut top plate here. This will be visible. And everything's been sandblasted. That's why it has this gray color. We've decided we're going to sandblast it again after all the welding's done and then put a coat of um, Minwax Wipe on Poly, which is a wood finish, but it, it also seals metal quite well and, and will keep this gray look without rusting. So at this stage, we've welded together what we call the metal treads. That's the, uh, these units here. Uh, they're cherry treads of a similar L shape will be lag bolted to the top to make it look nice. But this forms the structure and um, I've made a jig to weld these triangles onto the metal tread component, which you can see in another video. So now I have a whole bunch of these metal tread assemblies, sub assemblies, and we're welding them to the pipe. And of course they have to be equally spaced. And that's where this story pole comes in. If you look up here, this is the top surface of the top steel tread. And these pan marks are equidistant from each other all the way down so that when you step on the bottom tread of the stair with the inch and three quarter inch, inch and three quarter cherry tread on top of it, the, you'll have you'll experience the correct rise on that stair which is about seven inches and seven sixteenths so the story pole i'm about to use now will show us where to put the next tread and we've got a few that have been tack welded in place now we're just tack welding at the moment and then we'll take it down and um, put the assembly horizontal so i can weld it more easily but right now, the bottom edge of this cross piece is at exactly the height that we want the top surface of the next tread to go. The beauty of having a story pole for this is that any error in previous treads does not accumulate because we're always, we're always referencing from the floor and I know that everything works out perfectly so that everything's equal. So. Here's how the story pole works. We set it in place, um, put a level on it so that we have it oriented correctly. And then I just take a pencil and it's the bottom edge of the cross piece that's important. So I mark it here and I also mark it over here. and take it away and that's where we want those marks, pencil marks, show us where the next steel tread is going to go. So our job now is to use some clamps to support the triangles so that it sits properly and the end is lined up with all the others and then we tack weld that. So we've got some clamps here. As I said, I'm not going to be welding this completely. I'm just tacking it in place so that I can weld it in a better position later. But if you look here, the top of the tread is flush with our pencil mark on both sides. Uh, we're not just going by the pencil mark though. We also want to make sure that it's correct in real terms, so we're using this level this way, and then also from front to back too, because there's a little bit of wiggle room there, but we're ready to go, and all that has to happen now is to tack this particular tread in place. So I've got one more weld to go. There's a little bit of the MIG wire that's spattered off here, but that's no problem because the whole thing is going to be sandblasted before final finishing and that'll be removed but uh, here goes
there. That's sufficient to hold the tread. It's quite solid, at least for fabrication purposes. And we've got another half dozen more to do and then we're done. Thanks for watching. Click here to join the thousands of people who get the Bailey Line Road hands-on how-to newsletter for free every Saturday morning.